Hey folks, welcome back to Vidya's Vegetarian Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I cook my lentils, uh, especially tur dal, masur dal and moong dal in bulk in instant pot and how I freeze them. So folks, this is going to be a series. So today I'm just going to show you how I cook and freeze my dal using the pot in pot method. And in the coming weeks, I'll be sharing recipes with these uh, dals actually. So let's begin. Okay, I have all my uh, three dals here. Uh, in the instant pot's inner pot, I have taken one cup of uh, tur dal. And uh, in these small stackable pans, uh, I have taken half cup of uh, masoor dal and half cup of moong dal. I'm going to rinse all these dals now and I'll show you how I set it up in the instant pot. So I have uh, rinsed all these lentils and I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric to the tur dal. Uh, actually, it's a 1 by 8 teaspoon measure and uh, 1 by 8 teaspoon of turmeric powder to the moong dal and the masoor dal. So for one cup of tur dal, I'm going with uh, 2.5 cups of water and this particular brand uh, needs little extra water. So I'm going with uh, 2.5 cups. You can add uh, according to your preference, texture preference. Also, I'm going to add a teaspoon of gingerly oil or nallannai as we say in Tamil. Adding oil helps in a mushy dal actually. So now let's uh, mix this thoroughly. We want to make sure the turmeric powder is uh, mixed thoroughly. And now uh, I'm just going to place the uh, egg rack. Actually, I don't have a tall trivet with me. So I use my uh, egg rack or stand as my tall trivet. You can use uh, your tall trivet or the small one also. So now I'm going to place the moong dal first and add one cup of uh, water. Just mix it uh, thoroughly. And now I'm going to place the masoor dal on top of the moong dal. And I'm going to add uh, one cup of water as well. So for both masoor and moong dal, uh, for half cup of dal, uh, I went with one cup of water. Just mix this again. So now let's keep this in the instant pot and I'm going to pressure cook for uh, 30 minutes. As we need mushi dal, I'm going with this timing. You can cook for 30 to 40 minutes according to your preference plus the dal variety. Some brands uh, need more cooking time actually. Let's set it to 30 minutes. Uh, that's it. High pressure uh, and 30 minutes and I'm going to let the pressure release naturally. The cooking is all complete and I let the pressure uh, release naturally as well and here it is. All my lentils are ready. I am just going to take them out. Here is my masoor dal. Here is my moong dal. Let me now take out the stand. It will be pretty hot so uh, be careful. So now I am going to mash all my dal. So first tur dal. As you can see it is nice and mushy. And tur dal is now all set. I am going to mash the other two dals as well. Look how soft and uh, mushy the dals are. After mashing the dals, we need to let them cool completely before freezing. I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. Uh, you can use silicone containers or Ziploc bags to store these dals. You can portion it uh, as per the recipes and store it. So I'm going to uh, store some dal in the silicone freeze tray. Look how the dal has thickened. I'm going to use my hand to mix them again and store. Uh, I'm just measuring and storing them. This is my moong dal. I'm using a half cup measure. The half cup goes in here and there and the remaining 3 by 4 cup goes in the Ziploc. And now comes the masoor dal. I got about 1.5 cups of cooked masoor dal from half cup of uncooked uh, masoor dal. I'm going to store it as 1 cup and half cup in the Ziploc. I'm just measuring because I wanted to show you the yield. This might differ according to the quality of the dal. So one cup here and one cup there and one more cup uh, I'm going to store it in the Ziploc. 
So flatten the Ziploc bags like this so that it doesn't take uh, the storage space much in the freezer. And also before you forget, write the dal names and the measure as well. That's it folks, uh, all my dals are now ready. I'm going to keep them in the freezer now. And let me now show you what I did when the dals were cooling. I chopped all my veggies for the week and here they are. Some yellow zucchini squash and some uh, okra. I have a few whole okra on top of the chopped one for uh, sambar and kurambu. Here I have some cluster beans, kottavaranga and on top some peeled carrots. I grate them when needed. Earlier I made some uh, tomato onion relish or goju that you can serve with uh, any tiffin like idli dosa. It stays good for 10 days. I have the recipe on my blog and I will share the link in the description. Now talking about idli dosa, I have the batter ready as well. Wait, let me show you. Actually it hasn't fermented yet. And yeah, that's it folks uh, and this is how my weekend meal prepping looks for this week. So yeah, this is how I cook my uh, lentils in instant pot. You can cook uh, your dals in the stout top pressure cooker also. Just make sure you are letting the dals cool completely before uh, freezing them. And uh, in the next uh, episode or in the next video, I will show you how I make sambar with a frozen turta. So yeah, that's it for today folks. Hope you all liked it. Please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.